going? It's going pretty good. Um, you know, obviously, as days go on, you find new things you got to work on. And you know, the first day, a lot of it was just helping out the freshmen and, and making sure they knew what a practice was like. The second day, you know, was making sure they had, they improved on whatever we fixed. And then today, you know, I saw a lot of improvement out of everybody. So we did a good job today. Pretty much. What happened to some of those freshmen? You know, just seeing seeing the attention to detail they have and, and the want to get better. You know, it's, it's easy for a freshman to come in here and be like, oh, I don't know what to do, and, and I don't really you know, you know, want to give effort right now. You know, I'm just trying to get a pace of what college football is like. Like, you know, they actually get after it, and they want to, they ask us constantly for a play. I know you guys have seen me walk off this field with Pallion two days straight, and, you know, they're asking us questions constantly. They're in the meeting room asking questions constantly, and they want to get better, and I'm, I'm really happy about that. With him, you know, physically, what impresses you about Kai? Obviously, his size. He's got great footwork. Uh, you know, obviously, coming in as a freshman, you have a lot. You have a lot to adjust to, and, and you know, going from high school to, to college football, obviously, the speed's a lot different. Uh, right now, he every day is going against Joe Jackson, so it's pretty much a big challenge for him. But you know, right now, it's keeping his confidence up and making sure that he knows. He's gonna get. He's gonna get adjusted to it. And he's gonna do a great job uh, in the future. Who are you battling with a lot in, uh, you know, at that DN spot? Uh, you know, every day during one on ones, I go against Joe Jackson, and Trent Harris. Uh, you know, Garvin. I tell you what, man, Garvin is gonna be one hell of a football player. He is. He's got hands. He's got feet. He has speed, and he's got power. Uh, but you know, mainly Joe Jackson, Trent Harris, and I'll go up against Garvin at the end of the practice. What does Garvin have to improve on? Uh, you know, size. I would say size. Yeah. Right now, once you get your hands on him, it's, you know, you can control him a little bit. But he, it doesn't matter. Sometimes, sometimes I get my hands on him. And it's just like, where'd you go? <laughs> uh, you know, he's a really good football player, and I'm really excited to see him play. Have you seen anything from DJ Johnson? I know he's just kind of getting his feet under him here, but yeah, he's he did a really good job during the summer program. Uh, really attacked the lifting. And did a great job coming out here the first day. And uh, you know, it's hard for me to watch everybody. He's on the other side of the line, so that's what the you know, right guards, right tackles. But we watch film. You know, I watch, I, I look at everybody. He's he's a good player. He's got size to him, and, and, and he's got quickness. So I like it. You find I mean, it's a lot of the same guys from last year's O-line return. What in your mind was the biggest difference between last year's O-line and this time, and what you guys have now? Uh, general overall understanding of the playbook. Uh, you know, last year we understood the playbook. Uh, we worked it constantly, but you know, with these with these new summers that we've had, where we're able to work with the coaches a little bit and then have meetings, we have a great understanding of the playbook. Uh, we've been able to study our opponents much more. We've been able to study our defense a lot more. We know exactly. We don't know exactly what's coming, but we can have an idea of what's happening on the field, and we can make our adjustments based on that. And I'm very pleased with how us on the ones that we're running. Uh, we run very smooth, uh, and doing a great job, you know, just understanding exactly what's going on. And that's what is a great improvement from this time last year to now. You see, obviously, uh, you know, Coach Rick uh, has a way of doing things. You know, Stacy Searles does as well. I'm sure you can post all over the place. I'm just curious, does, does Coach Rick ever say anything, you know, to the tackles? They ever kind of give you guys little pointers? Uh, Coach Rick always comes up to us and, and gives us encouragement. Uh, obviously, him and Coach Searles are eye to eye on everything they talk about. Uh, he'll come over and he'll watch one on ones, and if he sees something, he'll pull us to the side and be like, hey, you know, do what Coach Searles tells you, you know, stay square, keep your hands up. Uh, you know, he's, and that's what's so great about Coach Rick is he knows exactly what's going on on every position on this team, and he comes over and he helps out everybody, and that's what you know. That's what makes him such a great head coach. He's a great guy at letting the position coaches teach too. You know, uh, he's not trying to tell them what to do. He he lets them do what they want to do, and that's what I love about this staff. And, that's why this staff is so unified and honestly probably one of the best in the country. All right. Thank you.